Hey guys, Pansy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock this mount called the Chaser, as well as how to farm the pieces. There are two parts to this mount. First, the magnetic rod, and the second is the Maglov Stalker. The magnetic rod you just pick up in the open world, it's in a supply pod, a uh, guaranteed piece, and the Maglov Stalker you have to farm from the Vermin Brothers. There are four mobs which have the Vermin Brother title, and you just have to kill them and hope you get it. The drop rate is around 0.25 to 0.5% according to other videos. I don't know what the exact drop rate is. Some people have been flexing it on me since day one. And me, it took me about three days to farm it just casually. But I will show you the best rotation to follow and how to kill them. All right, let's get the magnetic rod out of the way. So this is in the open world supply pod here in Astra. It's in the sort of like the northwestern region almost. It's called the Rusty Belt. So there's a big tower over here and on top of it is the supply pod. So we're conveniently already here. So you just have to drop down here. For you guys, you'll be climbing up the tower, but it's really easy. No worries. So it's the supply pod right here. You just pick it up. No issue. Now the real problem is getting the second part, which can take some time. But luckily for us, killing the Worm Brothers is actually a good source of machine parts. So it's not a complete loss. You will be getting a bunch of upgrades for your vehicles. If you see, I've been pumping these up. It's not too great, but you know, it has been, you know, it has been a pretty decent reward getting all these dark crystals, right? So anyway, let's get to it. All right, so I'll show you guys the rotation here on the map first, and then we'll actually run through it once. So the first place is going to be near Baronstown. The first brother is going to be in this little location right here. So this space rift is going to be the quickest one to get to it. So the mega arena one. So once you come down here, you just run over here, kill it, and then you teleport to the next one which is right here. So this is uh, Mount Wuchu. You just come over here, you run into Anchorville and kill the brother over here. Then you're gonna teleport all the way up uh, to this one. So you come over here you, to uh, the signal station ruins. You just run down to the next boss. And then from there, you just run down to Loan Dock or you can teleport here. I prefer to just run it. It's not too far of a run. All right, let's start off with the rotation with the first one at Barrentown or near Barrentstown. So we are here at the Space Rift. We're just going to pop our mount and go into that enclosure. Now, you can use your relic to get up there quickly. You see him patrolling up there. So you can save some time by doing that. Or you can just run up here and de-aggro these guys after you take a little jump here. All right, so... Make sure you use a frost weapon as they're weak to frost. Don't use a fire weapon. Meryl, in my opinion, is the best one because of her protected burst damage. And she does some great work over here. If you don't have her, just use the best thing you got. Uh, I just avoid fire weapons here because they're low DPS against them because of the resistance. But if you saw the loot over here, these machine parts and stuff, the loot can fall through the ground over here. So especially if you're killing him on the right side over here they can fall down here so make sure you keep keep an eye out for that and make sure that your loot doesn't go missing and you miss out on the piece so yeah just a quick point there let's go to the next one all right getting to the second vermin brother you start here at the space rift for mount wuchu and you just come over here across the river uh you could do this many ways uh but yeah after you cross the river from the Space Rift over there, you can't mount through it, so you can use a relic to get past faster if you're trying to do the quickest time. You just come up this slope over here and just you know take these mobs with you, no problem. And the second Vermin Brother we're gonna kill is right here. There we go. Took him out and we are good. So to reset your aggro from here, you just wanna run off the cliff over here and the reason why we're trying to drop aggro is so we can just move on to the next one instead of having to kill those little mobs around here. So just drop down. All right. Drop the aggro. Now move on to the next spot. That is going to be up here. All right. So the third vermin brother is going to be around here. So here we are at the signal station ruin space rift. So we're already here. We are going to just mount up and jump down. And just come through this way. 
and you see that little structure over there that's where he's gonna be so he spawns right in the middle here i'm gonna go ahead and wait for him so you guys can see the full encounter all right so it turns out the boss is up he just walked down there so he does seem to patrol around here so hey this is a starting point and looks like he does walk down the road and just chill oh that explains a lot anyway here he is once again all the brothers are going to be the same weak to frost damage um they're a pretty easy fight even after i got the chaser mount i still farm these for the machine parts and it's been really good it's been a really good rotation to farm and lastly the final brother is going to be at low and dock he's going to patrol around this area this is where this guy spawned and he patrolled all the way down here so that's why we're further up but after you kill him you can always come over here and drop the aggro of the remaining mobs and just run down to low end dock or you can use the space rift over here for low end dock so we're just gonna run it over there not too bad just a quick run and i'll fast forward the video so you guys don't have to watch all right now we're coming into low end dock here so the thing you need to know is there's a lot of mobs around here they're pretty weak but it doesn't change the fact that there are a lot of mobs around here so this brother he starts spawning over here so this is his spawn point but i've caught him all the way down there at times so he patrols a pretty sizable area for this small encampment but now let me just go check if he's up in the back otherwise we can just wait for him to spawn Yep, here he is. So it looks like he can go all the way to the dock area as well. So here he is, the final of the Vermin Brothers. Once again, weak to frost, so use your frost weapons if you have it, or just do whatever you can. But for the most part, this is a pretty chill rotation. Um, once you get them on a proper kill cycle, you can pretty much hold this rotation down by uh, yourself if you're really high damage, but otherwise it might not be the case. But, you know, it's still better than just sitting at one spawn and just waiting for waiting for the respawn. This is a lot more efficient use of your time, as well as you get a lot more machine parts out of it. So it's not a total loss, even if the Maglev Stalker doesn't drop for you immediately. So, you know, all the best in your grinding experience here. I come from Black Desert Online. So, yeah, our rare treasure items have like three to four pieces and they have like one tenth of the drop rate of this. So this is... This was actually a pleasant little grind for me. Uh, I, it wasn't it wasn't hard at all for me. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please do like, comment, subscribe and check me out at twitch.tv slash I'm Pansy. I stream all sorts of MMORPGs. MMOs are my jam. And right now I'm playing Black Desert and Tower of Fantasy as a free to play player, right? This is crazy. Uh, free to play Tower of Fantasy. I never thought would actually be fun, but it is. So anyway, catch you guys next time.